What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great hump day. We are here doing what we do, and that is busting a hump. We are working on getting everything out that we can, as quick as we can, but as you can see, I'm still building stuff, um, but you don't stop. Funny thing is, is um, the more you do something, the better you get at it. Seriously. When I made the first one of these Jovartis, it was actually very, very time consuming to make it um, and try to figure out how to continue to make it. If you um, watched my live stream last night, um, we live streamed the Washington game, and you saw that I was pretty much tired as could be. I was literally falling asleep watching the game. I had driven down the country uh, about 300 miles of driving. Before I went down there, I was painting a lot of these racks and stuff, and um, got back. I had bought a load of lumber, unloaded it, and within 45 minutes of me getting home, I was live streaming the game live then for the next three hours. But I have this philosophy of anything I can do today means I don't have to do it tomorrow. So when I finally woke up there from live streaming, I came up here and I took the pile of lumber and I just cut it to length. And I got up, made my coffee, and while the coffee was brewing, put a coat of paint on all the footballs over there. So that way, while I was recording my video, while I was recording my video, the paint could be dry, and that would get me further ahead. Found one of my old glue bottles here and cleaned that sucker out. Good thing about this is it doesn't put quite as much glue on here, which means I have less glue running out and less glue to clean up after it's dry. Saving time. So... Yeah, I cut out enough pieces between last night and this morning to put together another 15 Joe Bartis. And I gotta tell you, that's a pretty good joint, considering how tired I was last night. But Jimmy Johnson said, Exhaustion makes cowards out of us. When you're tired is when you don't want to go on. But that's when you actually have to push through. And see, that's where we are now in the football season. It's been a long season. Already 14 games. You know, back in the day when I first started watching football, 14 games was a season. Now we got 17 games. 17 games and now we've added more playoff games. Fatigue makes a coward out of all of us. And this is where you got to be able to push through and you will succeed. So, watching uh I think I love about working here at home. I wish I could quit my day job and just do this kind of stuff. Um, it's great because I've got the TV on. I've got my cell phone right there. I can keep up to speed with what's going on. I can text message. I can turn on the heat when it gets cold or turn that window air conditioning unit on when it's hot. I can go inside and if I did drink beer, I could get a beer. 
So it's a great situation. So I'm sitting here watching Skip and Shannon, and they're talking about the Dallas Cowboys defense. Dallas Cowboys defense that is second in the NFL at taking away the football. Cowboys are second in the, uh, sorry, number one in the NFL at taking away the football. And they're uh, that's a little too far. Second in the, sorry, number one in the NFL at taking away the football. They are scoring defense-wise. They are seventh in the NFL in scoring defense. Two categories as top ten. You have to love that because, as I've done the research on before, when you are two categories in the top ten in defense, that's one of the things they have in common with most Super Bowl winning teams. And that includes with Tom Brady. The only problem for the Dallas Cowboys defense is they're second in the NFL at giving up explosive plays of 30 yards or more. Yeah. We give up some big plays. Some big plays we definitely give up. Now the question is, is there a cause and effect, and should we worry about it? Well, I'm here to say, of course, you always want to worry about giving up big plays, but this is not as big a deal as we think. Five of those were in the Rams, excuse me, the Raiders game. So if you take those five out, it's not as bad. And one of the things that we looked at at the Raiders game that you could say is... We were hurting as far as a pass rush. Basically, it was the Micah Parsons show, and that was it. Randy Gregory was gone. D-Law was gone. Uh, Trista Hill was gone. Um, I think Trista Hill was gone. Nabel Gallimore was gone, and so on. And another portion reason why we give up explosive plays is because we're an aggressive defense. We take risk. We got players that are ball hawks that go for the ball, which is not a bad thing because a takeaway, a takeaway in the NFL is like gold. When you are taking the football away from the opposition, it can be as much as a 14 point swing. And sometimes to get those takeaways, you have to gamble. It's one of the things that Rod Marnelli didn't like to do. Rod Mar Marnelli had this bend don't break philosophy where they didn't give up the big plays. No, they didn't give up the big plays. People would dink and dunk on them because they would end up giving eight, ten yard cushions. But now we are challenging the receivers. We're hitting them the line of scrimmage and we're going after them, which works great if, if you have a great pass rush. If you don't have the pass rush, then you can get beat because the wide receiver that's got skills can make moves on you, juke you, and get separation. And then because you're aggressive, you don't have the time to recover on it. Hence, the reason why you have a lot of explosive plays that you give up. For me, I think about that defense last year. That we gave up a lot of explosive plays and still didn't get that many. We got takeaways in the last few games. We had a stretch in there where we got, I think, 12 takeaways in like four games. But other than that, we didn't take away the football, and we gave up explosive plays. Everything being equal, I'll take us giving up the explosive plays and taking the football away.
Now here's where it gets great for the Cowboys. Our defense is going to be able to put on pressure probably better than anybody else at this point. Now that we finally got healthy on the defense, now that we finally got our guys back on the field, what you're going to see is you're going to see D-Law and crew, and if they can figure out how to incorporate Micah Parsons in there as well, they will feast. They will feast on the other teams. That much I can guarantee you. I'm not worried about the explosive plays, but I'm sure you guys are. Hope you all are having a great hump day. Um, I'm going to glue these together. i got to make a run to the store and get some uh, wet sandpaper. Uh, what else did I need? Wet dry sandpaper. Damn, I had a whole bunch of things that I needed to get, now I just forgot. Damn you, Mark Holmes, in your old age. Oh, some drill bits, because my drill bits got kind of dull. Oh, uh, an angle. I need an angle over here. See, this is where my mind keeps going. It starts figuring out ways to be able to do more. I ended up bringing, well, I forgot. I made this little table that folds down over here. See that? It's like a shelf, but it folds down. The legs fold up underneath it and it drops. So I put all those over there. That's great. Then I remembered I've got this little uh, fold-up workbench. So what I can do here, put this board on here. When I take the Jobardis and put glue on them, I can put them over there to dry. And then I remembered I put another bracket over there on the garage door that I could put another angle on there. And if I get a couple of pieces of wood, I can extend that so that way I can actually paint a few more, uh, probably three more of the footballs at the same time. And see, here's the thing. The more things that you can do and repeat the same thing, the faster and the easier it gets. So, if I were to just make one of these racks, it would take a lot of time. But because I'm making like 15 at the same time, it doesn't take that much more because you're already set up. Strength in numbers, baby. Strength in numbers. Hope you all are having a great, great day. So now, here's how, quickly, here's how quickly things change in the NFL. Now, all of a sudden, people are saying Tampa Bay may be over for them. Sorry, I forgot to turn the camera off. A lot of footballs, isn't it? Peace.